Today we're going to work on skirt manipulations. You'll find those in chapter 13. For this, you're going to need blue paper or the color paper you're using. You're also going to need to print out page one and two of your templates and cut them all out. Be very careful to keep track of skirt front and skirt back, okay, because you have a pair for each. I'm going to demo the front in class, the skirt front here in this video, and then you're going to manipulate skirt back to create the other uh, part of the process. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about skirt uh, silhouettes, the shapes of skirts. Let's look at this one. Here is what we would call a pencil skirt. This is exactly like our block. You can see here there are two um, darts on either side in the front, okay? That's a pencil skirt. Typically that comes down to the knee about 19 inches or so. This is a pencil skirt where two darts have been combined into one. You can see how this looks different than this one. Then we have a princess seam style line here where we've taken this dart here, where we've combined two darts into one, and then we just draw the line down and split the piece. That's a princess seam style line. Here we have an A-line flared skirt. You can see how this hemline is bigger circumference than this, and this is typically like the letter A or a triangle shape. Here is a skirt with a yoke. We call this a yoke. And um, this would be like yoke front, and this is skirt front. We're going to do one of those manipulations. And then this is a gore skirt. This is called a six gore skirt because a gore is a panel. And here you can see we have one, two, three in the front, and we would have three in the back, and that makes it a six gore skirt. So you can see the difference between the princess seam and the gore skirt is that this princess seam, this panel in the front stays the same measurement all the way down, whereas this gore skirt, the measurement across the gore continues to get longer, wider, wider as it approaches the hemline. Okay, so keep these in mind. We'll refer to these as we go through our exercises. Let's start with the first one. The first one, we're going to do an A-lined flare skirt. This is in chapter 13. You can see here flared skirt. They have a triangle silhouette. And we're going to transfer the excess of one dart to the hemline by adding width at the side seam. So we're going to create this. Let's do this one. Okay, so we're going to start with your blue pages here. And you're going to use your templates here. My big tip for um, skirt manipulations is this, and I want to see this written on your um, work. We want to lengthen or shorten the skirt to the desired length before the ma manipulation. So here we have a block that's a certain length, and if we know that we want the skirt to be 19 inches, right, the length of it to be 19 inches, we want to measure down here 19 inches, make a tick mark, draw a perpendicular line, and cut that off. For purposes of this exercise, I've just measured up an inch here because these are quarter scale, and we're going to want to cut that. We're going to remove that. So you do the same. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this. Um, the silhouette here shows the dart, one dart here, and we have two darts here. So how do we um, distinguish between the two? What I think is really important for you to remember is that this measurement from center front over to this first point here is um, 
the amount of length between the center front and the princess seam. So we're going to call this princess dart, this first dart here, okay? So this measurement is real important here. So what we want to do is we want to leave the princess dart here because we're going to sew that up. It's going to look like this when it's finished. And we're going to um, then to create fullness here, flare, we can simply draw a slash line here. Then we would cut up to but not through this dart tip and tape this dart shut. So let's do that. Now we're going to tape this dart shut. Okay, over here I want you to trace the original starting point. So your template, trace that please. And then I'd like to see center front on all your work like I've always been talking about. And let's just identify this as the princess dart. Okay, now we're here. We're over here, and we've just slashed this line and closed this dart. So you can see now there's a bigger sweep here. We call this the sweep at the hem. But it's very likely that now that we have more ease here across her hips, we don't need this hip curve. See how the center front line is straight? It's always straight, center front and center back are. The side seam always has a hip curve here. And now that we have more fullness throughout the skirt at these different locations, we don't need this hip curve right here. So what we want to do is take our ruler. We're just going to extend this out just a little bit. I'm going to extend it out a quarter of an inch. So I'm putting my ruler right here at the quarter inch mark. And then I'm going to direct this up to the waist. Now the side seam is a straight line. We end up cutting off this, side, this hip curve here. This always needs to be a 90 degree angle. This mark here shows that that's a 90 degree angle. And why do we need that? We need that because when we add seam allowance there, that's going to help us hem that so much easier. So now what does the perimeter look like here? Well, it looks like this. We have this dart. We're going to sew that up. We're going to outline this. Come down to here. Now we have an A-line skirt. So now you can pick this up, lay it over here, and redraw that to show that you understand what the finished perimeter looks like. We're going to put that on the fold because that's what our um, because that's what our diagram is looking like, right? Okay. And um, you're just going to write A-line skirt front, cut one on fold. Here's the rectangle to show it's on the fold, center front. And then draw a technical drawing here of what this would look like. This here, the, the waist band is added, but you don't have to have that on there as long as your, as long as your technical flat looks like this, where there's no center front seam, and you have princess darts here and a flared hemline. And then mark it A-line flare skirt manipulation. Now what does the back look like? Here's what we need to know about the back. Be sure you're checking that you're using a skirt back. Notice this one is turned in the other direction where center back is this straight line. Be sure you're marking this center back, not this, because this is the hip curve. This is the side seam, okay? So now 
this becomes the princess dart. Why? Because this measurement from here to here is exactly the measurement to the princess seam line. So this is the one we want to use. This one is the same as that. We want to keep this one as a dart. Then we're going to draw this line down here and we're going to close this dart and swing that out. The same thing applies. We're going to have to add a little bit more sweep here so that we can have a 90 degree angle here and cut off the hip curve. Of course, our side seams have to match, right? So whatever you shorten this to, you need to do the same here. So you would cut that off. Okay, so now it's your turn. You do the skirt front and back. Uh, you can do them, do the front on one side and the back on the other so that we are clear that you understand the progression of the technique, okay? And that is the A-line flare skirt.